We're going to install our injection pump now. I've timed the flywheel so that the flywheel is four degrees before top dead center on number one piston. I've got the pump timed so that it is the timing marks are in line. I'm going to install the, the small spring that holds pressure up on the shaft and keeps it up in the pump uh, with, this small, with this long screwdriver. I'll slide it on here. I'll put the end of it down inside where I want it to be inside the oil pump drive gear. And when I have it in position, I can remove the screwdriver. Like I said, we've got the pump timed and I've got the O-ring here, the sealing ring that fits down into the groove in the block. I'm going to just lower the pump down in. Move it slightly till it meets up with the drive gear down inside. Then I can move it back and forth until my static timing lines line up here in the window. Okay, we got the shaft down in the oil pump drive gear and we got the timing marks lined up. I'm going to go ahead and put on the washers and the nuts. And once we get those positioned, we can do the final static time before we tighten them down tight. Got my timing mark lined up. So I'm gonna snug the bolts up just enough to hold the pump. And I'm gonna roll the flywheel backwards about a half a turn and then bring it up again to four degrees before top dead center. And then we'll check, recheck the timing window and the pump to make sure that we're accurate with our timing mark. Just snug down and roll backwards. Pull it back up to four degrees before top dead center. Right there. Check our timing window and the pump is dead on. So we have it just exactly where we want it. I'm going to finish tightening up these nuts and we'll, we'll call the pump timed. Okay, got our pump all nice and snugly timed down. I'm going to install this timing window where this cover normally goes in the pump. And that way we'll be able to watch once we get the engine started, the uh, advance moving back and forth as the engine accelerates. Okay, we got our pump in. Timing window is, is primed so that when we start it, we can watch the advance. The next step would be to install the injectors and hook up our fuel lines.